In reduced pesticide paddies, many natural predators, such as spiders, live. They eat harmful insects, so the upswing in pests is kept under control. Experiments show that the use of pesticides actually increases the number of pests. One reason for this is that pests build tolerance to pesticides and further due to the use of pesticides, natural enemies of harmful insects decrease in number. As a result, farmers have to spray new pesticides repeatedly. In the past, the more pesticides we sprayed, the more pests kept coming back and browning the tips of the leaves. But even though I've now stopped using pesticides, there's not been much harm done. There are some pests, but not enough to cause much damage to the leaves. On the contrary, when we used pesticides, the number of pests increased enormously. So, there really is no need for pesticides. Taking a cue from his father's death, Mr. Ogino started farming organically without using any pesticides or chemical fertilizers. He makes liquid fertilizer out of pig excrement and sprinkles it over his tea fields, and he feeds the weeds that grow in his fields to his pigs. In this way, he operates recycle-oriented farming. All living things have now returned to his tea fields. Just like Ogino, farmers who have converted to organic farming have emerged. Takao Furuno, a farmer in Kyushu, has farmed organically for 30 years. His rice paddies became full of weeds. We'd been weeding by hand for 10 years. We worked from 4 in the morning till 9 at night. We were always hard at work, but still, more and more weeds sprang up. As my friend often said, no chemical fertilizers, no pesticides equals no harvest. First, they could only grow vegetables full of wormholes and curved cucumbers. But with the use of organic manure, they could grow excellent vegetables. Before, we could only harvest a carrot this size. At the very beginning, this one was satisfactory. Now our carrots are like this. <laughs> Big difference, isn't it? Furuno eventually discovered hybrid duck farming with ducks released into the rice paddies. The ducks eat pests in the paddies and their excrement works as natural nourishment for rice. Furthermore, ducks swim among rice stalks, preventing weeds from growing. Hybrid duck farming, one example of integrated pest management, is now spreading nationwide. Meanwhile, it was consumers who had supported the hardworking efforts of farmers. We now can have crops like manufactured goods, greenhouse-grown vegetables all year round, fruits imported from all over the world. But certain consumers realized this was all due to massive pesticides and chemical fertilizer use. Consumers protested against carcinogenic post-harvest pesticides used on some imported produce. Women who were concerned about food safety started to approach farmers directly. The diet study group was formed as part of the consumers' movement. Mariko Asai is the founder and representative of the group. I used to visit farmers myself. One time when I was out on the farm, one farmer was spraying a lot of pesticides over cabbages. I asked him, do you really need to spray that much for cabbages? And he replied, of course, you can grow nothing without using pesticides. Then I asked, how about other vegetables? And he said, that is the consumer's problem. They don't like vegetables with wormholes. We don't want to do this, but we have to since most people refuse to buy produce that doesn't look good. Consumers started discussing earnestly the issue with producers. This effort began to take root nationwide. 
This is footage from 1975, when consumers in Tokyo visited a suburban farm trying to communicate with farmers. In this way, consumer groups started building new distribution channels outside the commercial market. By purchasing directly from the producers, so-called take or tie-up, they could purchase safe food grown with less pesticides. Conscientious farmers spend lots of time and energy on farming, but merchants using market principles try to lower the prices. Farmers can't survive in that kind of system. We've been purchasing their products directly to support these producers. One of these consumer groups, the Seikatsu Club, has grown to have 270,000 members who are mostly women. You can buy this for 100 yen at the greengrocers, but this is 380 yen. It's a bit pricey. These tangerines are not sorted according to size and are grown without the use of pesticides. They're also wax-free, so you can eat it and use the rind without worrying about its safety. Cooperatives and consumer associations now conduct tests for pesticide residue and established a standard far stricter than that of the government. After my child was born, I started to care about these issues. Before that, I was indifferent. Current public interest in agricultural products grown with less pesticides is surging. In 2000, the government established an accreditation system for organic produce. Once using massive amounts of pesticides over apples and rice, Saku City in Nagano has switched to reduced pesticide farming with the cooperation of the township, its residents and farmers. Chiaki Shinohara took the initiative for this attempt. The fertility of the soil lessens when it's not treated with rice straws and weeds from forests and fields. Chemical fertilizer works instantly and produce may grow very well temporarily. But this produce is vulnerable to diseases and harmful insects. So you have to use new pesticides, one after another, to control the problems. We became aware that this was a vicious circle. They started working on building a compost center. The town then established a recycling system by collecting kitchen refuse from homes and restaurants, turning it into compost with excrement from livestock, then returning the compost to the fields in the area. They succeeded in reducing the use of chemicals by creating organic soil through the efforts of the whole town. The farmers have been using compost from the center and have gradually reduced pesticide usage over the past 20 years. Now they grow organic rice. Many living things have returned to the paddies.